Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 25 of Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. The new Baldur's Gate game that I can't believe is here and that I could gush about on and on and on, but I won't. I'll spare you guys that. <laughs> But um, thank you for joining me. I had to update my drivers, my GeForce drivers. Uh, we should be good to go now. So we have the latest, greatest drivers. And I should go over some of the graphical options before we get into the game. I'm going to try to turn them on. If um, they have, in fact, been brought over now to the GeForce RTX cards or whatnot. Uh, so we'll take a peek at it. And uh, yeah, then we'll get into some adventure. We are doing all kinds of cool stuff in the wilderness around um, around the Druid Grove and El Terrell, I guess, and stuff like that. Let's hit options. Let's go to video. Uh, 144 hertz. Triple buffering. Custom. Um, can, tech, can this go any higher? No. Slow HDD mode, no dynamic crowds, shadow quality high. All right, here we go. Whoops. No, don't put that to low. Okay, NVIDIA DLSS uses AI super resolution to provide the highest possible frame rates at maximum graphics settings. I do have an RTX card. DLSS boosts frame rate by using deep learning to upscale frames at a lower resolution so they look as sharp as expected. We'll turn this on quality. See how that works. AMD FSR we don't have. Fidelity FX sharpening. Sharpness. Um, I don't know. We don't have that option, I guess. Anti-aliasing. DLAA is exclusive to NVIDIA's graphics card. Uses deep learning to detect this smooth image. We'll try DLAA. These are the two new options brought to us. Depth of field, okay. All right, so we'll try this out and see how this goes, see how the game looks. And hopefully we can run it smoothly with these options and also record smoothly. And yeah, we'll get into the adventure, guys. I can't wait to play. Now we have these two new options for graphics that should even increase the quality that much higher of an already beautiful game. Let's check, check, check it out. We're by a waterfall. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. All right. Um, looking amazing. Uh, I think we're okay. Uh, Will with a Y. Why? Why? That's right. But <laughs> why? Why, why? A great uncle to name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. <laughs> okay. Um, let's skedaddle now, guys. Down this cragged rock, shall we go hunt an owl bear? Owl bears are pretty tough. There may be one in this cave here. Wow, this game looks good. Um, let's quick save and head on in and see what's in the cave. Cave mouth. Owl bear nest. Okay. Eviscerated goblin. Oh, I wanted to see if I could talk to the dead, too. It won't let me click it again. Can I recast it? I thought it gave me the option to recast. Yeah. Recast, speak with dead. Oh, I have to click a dead. 
person. All right, let's check the skeleton. There's a pickaxe, which we could send to... We'll pick it up. Eviscerated goblin and a heavy stone. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Where's that heavy stone? Right there? Huh. Let's see what's on the goblin. 56 gold and a heavy stone. Despite fitting easily in your hand, this rough stone has a good weight to it. Huh. Another heavy stone. Let's come this way. Um, I could try to... Ooh. A gilded chest. And a cragged rock. I could try to speak with the dead with that eviscerated goblin. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Oh. Oh. So we could try it on the one outside too that um the dude was killed. All right, let's scuttle down this cragged rock. To this little beautiful area. It's a lunar statue in a stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Huh. Wow, what is all this? There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Huh. The war between Salune and Shar. Potion of healing. Potion of animal speaking, glass chalice, scroll of detect thoughts, incense. Even unlit, these sticks emit a sweet sandalwood smell. Wow, they're worth 30. Incense. Can we take this stuff? An ancient tome de detailing how Salune came into being, into being along with her sister Shar. The silver radiant Salune and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. I wonder if I can take this without being attacked. I wonder if we can jump over there, too. It might be worthwhile. Um, let's see if we can grab this stuff. I'll grab the book. Grab the incense. Grab the potion. Scroll of Detect Thoughts. Incense. Glass Chalice. And now a Gilded Chest. More incense. Getting pretty rich again. Oof. Wow. I wasn't expecting to get blasted in the face like that. Um... Go and cure wounds. Take you. Huh. Never a dull moment. Examine. Salune seal. A protective shield surrounds the chest, dealing four to twenty-four radiant damage to any heretics that touch it. Made of precious stone and covered in gold, this chest is both sturdy and pleasing to the eye. Heretics? Why am I a heretic? Um, she's Char. Uh, well, quick save. She's gonna get blasted too, probably. Huh. So if we jump... Okay, we can jump over here. Let me head over here and see what's what. Ah, a book. That's curious. And a Salune prayer sheet. The genesis of Salune and Shar. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses Salune and Shar after Salune ignited the sun and brought life-sustaining light and warmth to the universe. That's worth it. 
a Saluni prayer sheet. A handwritten prayer to Salune. A prayer dedicated to Salune, ignoring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Just an old prayer. No. Shadowheart. Look at this prayer. Salunite prayer. How useful. Guys, guys. Can you use enhance ability? Guidance. Cast guidance on Will. Will, look at that prayer. It's it's important. Sharp as ever. A prayer. Aha. And with the same symbol as that chest. Seems I found myself a key. Yeah. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, Will. Uh, let's see, is there anything else over here? Um, and I'm off. Not really. Jump back over, okay. Quick save. Now, can we open this? Saved. Um... Wait, he's got a key. Why is he getting blasted? Read Will. Imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessings and share in her bounty. Aha. 30 XP, Shadowheart is inspired. Aha. I guess Elzarian will go ahead and grab it. You should leave it. Or even destroy it, if possible. <laughs> but why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Insight, why do you care so much? Intimidation, persuasion. Let's go insight, why do you care so much? And we're going to use Guidance from Will, since, of course, Shadowheart won't give us Guidance. Oh, it's a 15. Come on, big roll, big money, big money, big money. That might be enough. It's enough. Woo! I should have stayed quiet. You want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, Mistress of the Night, Saluna's twin and foe. Now that you have the truth... Please, don't make a big fuss about it. You could have told me how long we're going to, uh... How long we're going to keep this secret. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy Sorry. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Uh huh. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change if you can show an open mind. Let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Okay, but I'm taking the blessing, girl. Pretty interesting. Salune right? A plain unadorned note? This tome describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess Saluna. When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the Moon Maiden's silvery, silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith in standing as a follower of Saluna would be beyond any doubt. Saluna coming of age rights. Barbaric nonsense. <laughs> Silver non in, uh, necklace. 
Wait a minute, what? That's a sleight of hand it? What in the world? Oh, Will's supposed to be doing this. My bad. Oh no. Moondrop pendant, writhing dance. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. The black the back bears an inscription under a delicate crescent moon. You're a novice no more, Robin. Only right you should carry a little of Our Lady's light with you. An idol of Saluna, a statue of Saluna, Our Lady of Silver, the Moon Maiden gazing quietly at the world, a bloodstone. They're worth forty. And the Saluna right. Let's go ahead and have Will. The pride of the gate. Open this. He should be able to take this stuff, right? Let's grab that pendant. Yeah. The idol, the bloodstone, and the Saluna right. Let's have him read the Saluna right. Okay, nothing. Um, that's pretty good. I think I'll give that to Lazel instead of can cast Dancing Lights, because really, Dancing Lights. Uh, I don't know. It's important, but this is this is a little better. She gets that writhing dance. All right, that was awesome. Stayed interesting. That was awesome. Let's quick save. Uh, we still have an owl bear to take care of in here, though. Um. Oh, snap. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Oh my gosh. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Uh. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. You're injured. There's still half a spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. Ranger persuasion. Um, I would never intrude on your nest knowingly. This was a simple mistake. We need to roll five. Oh, that's simple. A mistake that would cost you your life if you posed any real danger. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Wow. We can go, but I, I thought I was going to hunt the owlbear, but I guess not. Heavy stone. Are these worth anything? Not really. And it's just floating. Is it floating there? It looks like it. Owlbear eggshells. An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna like us taking its eggs there, bro. Oh, the baby! the skeleton I don't want to fight it though that's the thing I mean it's a it's a beautiful majestic animal I want to heal it Wonder if an invisible Gith Yankee hand can a psionic hand can grab an egg. That's kind of evil too. There's stuff in there, man. I wonder if I could <laughs> See I can already cast dancing lights, so I'm Gucci if we need it. 
can't afford to stay idle. Can you go invisible or something? Get the Yankee Sonics jump. Your hand is not ready. A hero at heart. Dang, we don't actually have a. An invisibility spell. We have an invisibility potion. Turn invisible. The condition ends if you attack or cast a spell. Huh. No time to rest. Should lie in my step. Let's see. Should we give it a shot? Okay, let's break the group. So toggle group mode. Shouldn't have wished to live a more interesting time. The owl bear can't detect invisible, I don't think. As long as I get, don't get too close. Pork loin. Five camp supplies traditionally roasted in the heartlands with apple and cider gravy. Owl bear egg. 40 camp supply, 750. Owl bear hatchlings are tiny and adorable for the first few 10 days of their life. Then they eat you out of house and home. Then they simply eat you. Yeah, this owl bear can't see me. Oh, wait. Had the skeleton. Let's grab the Oak Father's embrace and just get out of there. I should have done it in turn-based mode. Wow, that thing is majestic. Well, at least we were able to grab the armor, but... Wasn't able to grab that short sword. I didn't want to grab the egg either. That's barbaric. Although, if someone wanted to raise it, that'd be kind of cool, but we'll let the owl bear raise it. Hmm... See what we picked up. Tell me I grabbed it. Right? There it is. 13 armor class, uncommon medium armor, order of nature, undead creatures that hit the wear receive 1 to 6 radiant. Beasts that hit the wear deal an additional 1 to 6 radiant. Embroidered with a simple maxim, nature is the true state of the world. These hides radiate a faint divine power. Huh. Wonder who could use that, but right now. Oh man, I wish I had more visibility potions. Don't I have the ability to. turn invisible? Disguise self. Boomerable shroud. Take an action with equal movement, right? Hide. Let's try Umbral Shroud. Now, let's go in turn based mode. Come up here. Oh wow, there goes my Umbral Shroud. Hide, please. Grab the short sword. Check the skeleton. There's a cragged rock. Come way up here. Um. Use your action to dash. Come up here. Grab the backpack. We've got seven gold, a potion of healing, and ooh, supply pack. He's encumbered, but that's okay. Scale up this crag. Okay, we're not in its line of sight. Okay, we can probably get out. Well, let's just end turn. What am I to do? Environmental turn. Great. Um, 
Zerion. Think about why my eye is itching. <laughs> Whatever's over there. That owlbear has great eyesight. Huh. And I used my umbral shroud too too quickly. Let's Um Enhance Sleep. Let's jump to right here. Not enough movement. I can jump right here. Yeah, this is not going to work too well. Why are you no longer hiding? Oh. Of flying, can't use it. What's next, I wonder. Let's <laughs> Very good. Let's get going. Can you hide. That's a bonus action. Let's let's um. Jump again over here. Okay, let's, oh man, because of the encumberment. Can I throw the pack that I just picked up? Where's the camping supply pack I just picked up? Probably in camp supplies. Huh. It's not in there. Um. Uh. Let's sort by weight for a second. Spider egg sack. Let's can I throw this? Throw. Oh dear. Um Come back here and try to throw. Try to throw it right here, I guess. <laughs> Oh, where's his hide? Why can't he hide? Uh, come this way. Hide. Now let's have Lazel. I crave blood. Grab that. <laughs> Go ahead and dash. Out of there. Okay, and turn. And turn. Um. Oh man, I don't know if this is even going to work after all this. Does this count as adventuring? Does he have enhanced sleep? 
Yep. So potentially, he could jump from here to right there. Bypassing whatever's over here. Um, hiding. Oh my gosh. Why? I messed that up. I messed that up. I can't believe that. I can't believe that I did that. He was already hiding, bro. Oh my gosh. We were making such an epic thing out of it. Uh, so sorry, guys. So sorry. We got to do it again. Unbelievable. <sighs> Short sword. Wow, he didn't see me here. Okay, let's um hide. here quick save I guess throw the pack again or throw the the armor <laughs> I love that that is awesome oh, that you can do stuff like that crave blood proceeding no one stopped me yet all right it's quick save um let's hide Oh, let's enhance jump. Where is it? Where's the enhanced jump? Here goes nothing. No. I'm going to keep trying this, guys, because I don't want to get into a fight. I wonder if I Umbral Cloak. Maybe I can do it in turn base mode, guys. This is fun, though. We're going to get there. That's a friendly looking shadow. Why oh, didn't. Did I throw the armor already? Yeah. Um, no. Sleep. Better be cautious. Okay, let's come here. Perfect shift turn base mode. Jump. And dash. Don't waste the step. What did we come over here for? Absolutely nothing, huh? Are you serious, bruh? Quick save. Get out of turn base mode. What did we come here for? Aha! 
quick save. We're hugging the wall. How long have we been playing? 35 minutes. We got a few minutes to do this. Let's do it. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Huh. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Wonder who would fit in there. Well, that's all there's. There is. So. Sadly, we can't check the headless skeleton. Oh, we took the headless skeleton stuff. It's in, let's quick save. It's enhanced sleep. And jump. Well out of range. <laughs> he took major damage, my bad. Another step forward. <laughs> Alright. Alright, cool. We made it. Oh my gosh. That was wild stuff, guys. Some sort of hole for like maybe, I don't know, a halfling or a mouse or something even? I don't know. Let's um, group back up. Let's see who we can give that armor to. Um, come back here and group the party. Wow, that was wild. All right, so in our camp supply pack, let's open that. Oh, he's at 213 for that. Um, we never did check the clamshell. I guess we can't. Huh. Can't use it. Weird. That would be able to open it. Um... Can I give the camp pack to someone with more strength, like Lazelle? And get this medium armor. Undead creatures receive one to six. Beasts deal additional one to six. Um, myself or Will could use that. Give it to Will, I guess. Defender of the people. 13 armor class. He's not proficient with medium armor. Wonder what that's going to mean. His AC is currently 12. If he equips it, his AC goes to 14, so... Doesn't say anything about not being proficient now. It's well, it's a cool looking armor for sure. Alright. Um cool. So I would say we came, we saw, and we Still did what we had to do. Despite everything. Um Time to press ahead. To stay alive, to not get eaten by an owlbear. To not kill a majestic creature for no reason. Yes, very good indeed. So. Until we get more invisibility potions. Which I should have used in turn base mode. Um, let's come back this way again. Quick save. I'm gonna wrap it up here though. Oh, 
The Grove sported some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten. It seemed to depict Lady Shah's warriors in combat. I hadn't known they were active in these parts. Uh huh. They seemed formidable. Not formidable enough to win the battle, it seems. But still, worthy of my respect. They looked like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. How did they prove themselves wor worthy? There was a proving ground of sorts. A place where initiates sought to complete Lady Shah's trials and make a sacrifice in her name. But that place is lost now. Huh. Some even wonder if it ever truly existed. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it. But there's nothing to be done about it just now. Uh huh. Talk to you later. I didn't mean to talk to you right now, but um, yeah, I don't see. Does anyone else have a potion of invisibility? You don't have any healing left. Maybe someone can do something hypnotizing. Oh, grant another keep creature advantage on stealth checks. That's pretty useful. Gain proficiency in all skills of a chosen ability. What does that mean? Acrobatic sleight of hand stealth. Wow. Arcana history. Wow. We got to be using this. For sure so we can pass these tests. Charisma. Wow. Definitely put that up there. That's amazing. Why have we not been using that? Okay. And Will doesn't have anything. Will has difficult terrain, deep water, and he's wet. Um, bind packed. Yeah, he doesn't really have anything that can do anything. Let's get these out of there. Alchemy pouch, keychain. Alright, so I'm going to save here, guys, and say thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you did, then feel free to come on back for the next one, because we are not stopping here. Uh, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate you all very much. Um, so I do hope you'll stick around. This was episode 25. So I hope to see you in the next one, guys. Much love, peace, and joy. Take care. Hope you're digging the LP if you are peeking at it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.